video, we will discuss how to create length layers and perform length and length segment measurements. To create a brand new layer, come to your layers list and click on the green plus sign to open up your standard layers library. Highlight the name of the folder you want to add your new layer to and click add. Name the layer. Change the measurement type from an area to a length. Choose what color you'd like it to look like. There are also different line styles available for you if you start running out of colors. In later videos, we will discuss how to assign depths, heights, slopes, and widths. Click Save, and double click your layer to add it to your drawing. When you're ready to perform your measurements, highlight the name of the layer that you want to perform your measurement on, come up top, and you have two options. You can choose either length or length segment. The first option, which is length, enables you to chain a bunch of different points together into one large measurement. Left click to start your measurement, a point will be added, and a line will follow behind you. Click and add another point wherever it changes directions and it will chain all those points together for you into one large measurement. To close off your measurement, double click on your last point and that will close it off for you. In the property section on the left hand side, it will then provide you with length and total length if you are using that layer across multiple drawings. You can come up top and click on select Select that takeoff, and the yellow box that will pop up, showing the lineal footage, will be adding all of these points together. You can also click and drag, and move any point around if you need to adjust one, or you can delete one entirely by pressing delete on your keyboard. The second option you have is length segment. With length segment, when you left click and add your first point, and then left click again, it automatically closes off. So left click to start a new one, left click to close it, so on and so forth. This method of performing length segments is just as accurate as performing a length. However, the difference being, when you select each segment, you will be able to see how long each one is individually. As I close off this measurement, you can still see I'm at the 87 and a half lineal feet like how I was previously. But this time, if I come up and click select, I can then select each segment and see how long they are. You can still click and drag and move any point around if you need to adjust any of these, or drag and move the entire segment. And when you press delete on your keyboard, instead of deleting everything, it'll delete just that one segment for you. In the next video, we will discuss how to calculate square footage with your length measurements.